welcome back to a new episode so if you are new to this channel Kidwale is a non-BS episode we don't love to queue up we also love good strong flavorful food anyway I thought it would be a good idea to try out influencers FMB brands because they can easily get for lack of a better word hyped up we're gonna find out whether is their food actually good so let's go drinks to try. They have like a local series where they use winter melon, coconut, barley, all those kind of stuff. I decided to go for their winter melon one which just released recently so let's try this. It has like hints of sour flavor because they added calamansi to it. Honestly right, if I'm craving for a good cup of matcha, I wouldn't go for this. I also ordered their oat matcha latte because I really want to try how does their matcha taste like. I actually don't mind coming here for a cup of oat matcha latte. It's actually not bad. It is a decent cup of matcha latte but I prefer my matcha lattes to have a stronger flavor. I think I would still stick to my usual go-to matcha place. I also ordered their matcha pot about to try because it was quite a thing quite intrigued lah, to see how it tastes so it also comes with a slab of butter and they've already cut the ball about half so we're just gonna insert it in there and take a bite oh no oh no ah, it's a mess oh gosh as you can see i'm doing a pretty bad job the guy did told me to just bite it like don't use any fork or knife I can't really taste any matcha matcha thingy. I'm pretty sure I'm eating it right. Personally think that it's not mind-blowingly good. I had pretty high expectations that so I've already finished the whole ball about. I don't really taste a thing though to be honest but when I ate the crust on its own right it does not taste a little bit of matcha. I don't know it just tastes like bread and butter to me. Pretty disappointed but whatever. Also I know what the matcha winter melon reminds me of. It reminds me of those calamansi barley drink at mama which is not a bad thing but it just reminds me of that. In case you're wondering what it tastes like, that is what it tastes like. Look, I'm sitting so awkwardly. <laughs> I also ordered a Japanese cheesecake matcha. Not sure what to expect lah, to be honest but I just want to eat some cake. So this is the cheesecake and I think this is red bean and this is the matcha. Let's try. Let's try all of them together like that. Oh, I'm so bad at this. It's like a very compact, dense cake texture and it's also super duper soft. Everything is not too overpowering. The cheesecake is not too cheesy. The matcha is not too matcha-ish. It's just subtle. It kind of complements each other in a way. I'm making a mess because I don't know how to eat cake as you all know. Oh my god, the more I'm eating it right, the more I can't stop. At first I wasn't too sure about it, you know. But the more I eat it right, the more I love it. Cheers. Last one. I came here expecting to like something else but I ended up liking something else <laughs> Overall, I think it is a very nice place to lay out with friends but their matcha is not my favorite although the prices are wallet friendly. And I'm still pretty upset about the pao pao but it really felt like I was eating normal bread and butter. now home because the CEO but anyway the next business that I'm gonna feature is actually Michelle Young. I think she's considered as a influencer lah because I see her doing sponsored posts but anyway she opened a cafe last year in Bukit Jalil. It's literally doing so good. I just have to get it to try and look at it. It looks so good. Zoom lah deh. Gerak lah. You can you find me you as a band. Oh, okay. Okay, so the cookies actually need to be reheated so that the chocolate can, you know, melt. Oh my god, that is huge. Wow. So I'm gonna reheat two of these cookies in the oven for three to five minutes so that the chocolate can really melt and be gooey while we try the rest of the items. I've heard so many good things about their pistachio donut. One donut actually costs 12 ringgit. I think this is the most expensive donut that I've ever had in my life. So let's try and see what's the hype about. I'm nervous. Okay, are you ready? Oh. Ooh, oh my god it's like so flaky though the layer outside so it's just coated with sugar oh it's literally filled with pistachio oh my gosh look at that it's licking it's literally filled with pistachio sauce 
Okay, I think it's too much. I think the sauce is a bit too much. I've literally squeezed out most of the cream inside because it's literally too much. I don't know, is it supposed to be like this? Too much cream. So my taste bud is telling me that the pistachio cream is not pistachio enough. It's just like a very sweet, watery cream. The cream is all over the place. It's actually a bit too gelat for me, to be honest. I really do love the donut on its own. I think it's really well fried, really soft on the inside, crispy on the outside. But it's just a cream. It's a little bit too much. And it's not flavorful also. Very, very gelat. I'm gonna try the Nutella one just to see whether is it also like that. It's like a little mantau. Okay, let's try. I'm scared. This is what I'm talking about. Cream that is not too watery. That stays intact in the donut hole. Yeah, I expected the pistachio one to be like this. So they literally just filled the donut with a very generous amount of Nutella. Okay, just a little bit of correction. I used the word watery, but I think the word runny is more suitable. Yeah, so anyway, if you have tried this before, let me know whether is it really like this or today is just one of those days where they added too much water or something. I don't know. I'm gonna try their red velvet brownie cupcake. It looks really good. There's like a layer of... What is that? I think that's a little tiny brownie there and then there's the cream cheese. Yeah, let's try. Wow. Okay, let's try. Okay, so this red velvet brownie cupcake is actually Trough Ringgit as well. And I don't think I've mentioned this, but I got the MCO treat box. You get to save like, I don't know how much, but you get to save some money. Okay, let's get it from the top. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my god, there's like chocolate oozing out in the middle of the cupcake. I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh my gosh. Ah! I can already tell it is gonna be so gelat. Okay, I'm gonna take a really big bite. If you're gonna order this right, I don't think you can finish it alone. This is such a heavy <laughs> cupcake. I like how they played around with red velvet and added chocolate and brownie elements into it. I like that little combination. I think it's actually a very well constructed and thought out cupcake. So I've got a s'mores cookie which is falling apart. <laughs> it looks so freaking good. Oh, look at that. I really like the fact that it's a thick chocolate. Look at that, it's literally filled with chocolate. This is so chocolatey. My hand is a mess right now, so please ignore that. It actually looks like it's supposed to be a really chewy cookie, but I'm not sure whether it is because I overheated the top part, so it's now kind of crunchy. But oh my gosh, look at the amount of chocolate there. It's literally a mess right now, but it's because the cookie literally fallen apart. But out of the many few fancy cookies that I've tried, I think this is one of the best because I love thick, chewy cookies, and I think this hits all the right spot. I think I found my perfect cookie right here, guys. Anyway, let me just try the matcha flavor. As you can see, I've also burned the top part which is very sad but it's a matcha hazelnut chocolate cookie Ooh, i see more chocolate i'm kind of scared this is a thick cookie guys this is so heavy. I definitely ruined the cookie. It's just not the same anymore, you know, when it's burnt on top. Ooh, the matcha flavor is really strong though. It has the very sweet chocolate taste, but it also has an aftertaste of matcha bitterness, you know. So it's like sweet and then bitter. I really like that combination. Okay, this is actually the next two days. I kept it in the fridge and I just took it out and it still tastes really good actually. And they are so generous with the chocolate filling. And I really love that touch of hazelnut for that crunchiness you know we have one last thing to try from that little box and it is their dark chocolate sea salt cake that looks like a huge slice of cake i really love dark chocolate cake the fact that it has sea salt really caught my eyes because i love sea salt as well it's so so rich got sea salt man it is like a very dense textured cake can you see now that I'm having it on an empty stomach, I actually really do enjoy this cake. It's a good quality dark chocolate cake lah. I know it looks like a piece of mess right now, but this chocolate cream though is my favorite part. It's so rich. You can tell that they really do use good quality chocolate. But like I've said, I don't taste any sea salty flavor. It's not even a little bit salty. Kind of disappointed because I really like salty cakes. Overall, this is a really rich cake and I can't stop eating it. That's all I have to say. I I already can't wait to get my next treat box. There are so many things small that I would love to try and I really do think that I found my perfect cookies. Thick, chewy, soft and it's also not milky and the dark chocolate cake is amazing. Okay, so we're gonna take a break from dessert and let's have something refreshing. So the next business that I'm gonna feature is actually Penang Kia, which I think was founded by Jue Tio, Junis and their dad. 
they basically have like a box of Rojak sauce starter kit I think it comes with four packets of Rojak sauce a packet of crushed nuts and also some sesame seeds I honestly think it's genius from the name itself and to the graphics branding and everything I think it's really really well done super duper cute I don't have guava so I'm just gonna use mango there are actually some savage mango right here so I think it'll go really well with the Rojak sauce let me just zoom you in oh wow this is so cute <laughs> Why? Oh, this looks so legit though. Their rojak sauce is more on the sweeter side. Maybe because the fruit that I'm eating, mango is really sweet. So it doesn't really go well. If it's guava and stuff, I think it will be much better. But yeah, it's a little bit too sweet for me. It is very hyung though with the shrimp flavor. The shrimp paste that they use is really, really fragrant. It's just like a really familiar flavor. La. This is definitely like a fancy rojak sauce. A little bit expensive. But you know, it's Instagrammable. It's cute. It's supporting Uncle Jimmy. I think it's actually a perfect gift because who don't love Roger, you know? Okay, so the last business that I'm gonna feature is actually Lillian Homemade Cake. started it earlier last year and ever since then they've rolled out many types of cake they are 100% homemade no artificial ingredients added only premium ingredients I actually did order their cake last year for my birthday it's the hojija cake I don't really fancy it it's not really my type of cake lah but I thought why not give it another go and try two more flavors to see whether do I really really like it so I've got the dark chocolate cake here and the earl grey chiffon cake and honestly their cakes are not cheap especially this one for the size of it as well but I know they use premium ingredients and stuff okay so i'm gonna cut the cake da -da -da. it does smell really good though oh it looks like there's two layers of cream oh my god great start oh wow that's actually so rich the white cream is just like a very very light texture it's not too milky i think they paired it really well with the dark chocolate the cake is not too gelat it's very light and soft and then they just add the touch of cream to balance it all out i think overall this is actually a very well thought out cake i'm so glad i ordered this cake for the perfect combo, we need to get a little bit of the dark chocolate cream, a little bit of the white cream, a little bit of the cake to really balance everything out. Oh my gosh, it is so good. We're gonna try the Earl Grey chiffon cake. Okay. Whee! There's a layer of cream. Let's try the cream. Kinda tastes like bubble milk tea. In terms of texture wise, I really like it. It's just like any other chiffon cake. It's super duper soft. But in terms of flavor, there's not much flavor from the cake itself. Just a little bit of flavor from the cream. I would prefer more flavor la, to be honest. This was the thing I had with the hojicha cake as well. There's not much flavor. I don't know. And I think this is honestly still my favorite out of three cakes that I've tried. As of the chiffon cake, I don't think I'll order them again because I'm the type of person that really likes strong flavors and I wouldn't personally get cakes that doesn't really <laughs> taste much. Yeah, Jessica Choi, if you're watching this, I think your mom and you are doing a really great job, even that it's only the two of you. So that's the end for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you know any other influencers, FMB brand or restaurants or cafes, line into my DMs or leave them in the comment section down below. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. And yeah, I think that is all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.